Hey, Scott from... What? 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 Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, along with you, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club, and welcome to Tobacco Advent 2019, Day 17. Born boy. Good morning, Homer. And somebody scolded me the other day. They apparently, unbeknownst to me, have been watching our videos, and they said, hey, I went to SethMarkwood.com and there was nothing there. Said, yeah, I know. That's part of the bit. It's <laughs> part of the joke. <laughs> So uh, today we've got a couple of things. Uh, first, we got this card that came in the mail from Dan Deep South Texas, who sent tobacco. By the way, which is Mexico. Oh yeah, Dan uh, from Mexico. Dan from Mexico, we, um, and Dan sent some tobacco a couple weeks ago, a couple yeah, of days a couple ago. Days ago, um, and so sent this card. We wanted to go ahead and, and read. Hello, Homer and Seth. Greetings from Deep South Texas. Just wanted to take a moment and wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I hope this card finds you well, and I pray that you and your family have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas and God bless Daniel and family. Thank you. And thank you that's, for that. That's really, really thoughtful of you. Very thoughtful. Although it is getting glitter. <laughs> the glitter bomb. Everywhere. Which, if that was your intent, good job. Um, so today's tobacco, it was provided to us by a father and son who are members of what? Uh, the Long Island Pipe and Tobacco Society, which you have visited. Yes, I have. Um, on a couple of occasions? Uh, just once. Just okay. once. Uh, so look at this. Inside, there was a package, and inside of that was this card. And look at, we've got triple wax seal. I'm going to get a close-up on these because they're just beautiful. So we've got Noel. We've got, what does that say? It's just a T. And then in the, the middle is a pipe. A pipe. Uh, so good. So um, I'm super. I, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm super jealous. I already had a conversation um, with Andre about this in advance because he said, you know, wanted to know are we gonna have enough tobaccos? Is it okay that he sends in one package tobacco for himself, from himself, and also from his dad? Yeah. Sure. That'll count as two days. Sure. And um, so we'll we'll smoke. We're not sure because they both have the name Andre, which ones we're right. smoking. So uh, go ahead and read this card. So clothes we've sent from Andre, Old Toby, and Wind. Rindell, um, and from Andre Maurice, Second Breakfast, and Thin Mint. All of them are from the Country Squire in Jackson, Mississippi. Wishing you all the best this holiday season. Scott, continue getting better soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, these, are, these are two from Andre. So today will be from Andre. Okay. Day 17. Yep. So um, left hand, right hand? Uh, right hand. Right hand. We are smoking Old Toby. Cool. And uh, while we load up, let's think about our question of the day. The question is, if you had to delete all but three apps on your smartphone, which one would you keep? Which ones would you keep? So which, which three? Which three right? would you question. keep? So let me ask you this. Are we counting your web browser as an app? Are we counting your emails as an app? Well, I mean, are they apps? Yes. Uh, are we counting them for the, the sake of this question? I don't think so. I, I think I think let's let's eliminate the things that we can just assume people universally have, right? So uh, I would say email, web browser, the phone app, the text messaging, standard text messaging app. Um, and then also for the sake of argument, because we know our audience and our platform, let's go ahead and say YouTube too. All right, so those we'll are basically- assume you're gonna keep YouTube. So and those are basically apps that are coming on your phone a maybe bit. YouTube not, but right? For us, it, it is okay. That's, and, and, that's you know, fair. maybe maybe YouTube wouldn't be high on your priority list. Maybe you watch on, on desktop or whatever. But let's just assume, for us, that would take one of our spots otherwise. Um, okay. And by the way, I, I, I have been failing to mention the ornament that is uh, 3D printed by Boy. That in is. addition to the cornament that'll be going to Andre, Andre will also get an ornament. Also, somebody asked the question, will the STL file for the 3D printed ornament be made available at some point? And yeah, why not? I don't, yeah. Uh, I'll, um, so, you know, the, the whole market's gonna be flooded with cheap Chinese. I know, uh, well, filament knockoffs. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll do that after uh, at some point in time, and I'll make a video specifically for that so you can find it, um, so it's not buried in one of these videos. Um, we'll make that available. Maybe maybe I'll 
maybe I'll uh, tinker around and, and design something else 3D printed as well and, and make that too. So I think for these to have the rarity that they have, it shouldn't be this exact one. No? No. Okay. I say let's modify it in some way and then make that available for folks. I, I really want right. this to be special sure. to the folks who gave us uh, tobacco fair. this year. That's fair. So now um, I'm trying to think my three most used apps. Maybe we just take the tobacco ad them part off. We'll do something. Or the year off or something. And it didn't say three most used. I know, I know, but I'm thinking. I could actually go and find out which ones I use the most based on my usage. I'm curious if those are the three that I use the most. Yeah, I would say... Um, So thinking about, you've got to delete everything. You're gonna, you're gonna have to be a little bit clever with this because there are some apps that I use mm. pretty frequently that are really just better versions of websites, right? Right. So like immediately, one of my number one top use, even YouTube, YouTube, you just use a website. One of my top is a Reddit um, because the app is great, but I could just use that in my in my browser. Yeah. Um, for me, for me, it's probably going to be. Give me one, so you can pick some more. Mm -hmm. so I, got, I got my first. My first is Instagram. I will keep Instagram. I will keep Spotify. Mm. That's a good one, but I, I, I got to cheat a little bit on this because I don't really use Spotify on my phone. I use it on my iPad. Mm. So that's a, that's a whole other device. All right, so for me then, my second one would be, is, is my camera still stock? Mm -hmm. A stock app? Okay. Oh, gosh, I would say probably Waze. I use Waze a ton. So that's that's my, my map software. Yeah. Yeah. I, think. I would I would use, if I had to, I would use the stock... Uh, Google Maps. Uh, well, actually, on our iPhone, it'll be Apple Maps, which they've improved. It's gotten better. I would use stock for that. Uh, I think number two... I think number two probably would be... Audible. Hmm. I listen to audiobooks quite a bit, and that's one that there's really no supplement for. I think. All right, so my number three is going to be Yelp. Because I do use Yelp a lot. You wouldn't lot. use the web browser version of that, though? I don't. But you could. I know. I'm just going to say, if there's... If it's taking up a spot, so if the, you're could, gonna say if the app didn't exist, I would, be using, I would be using. See, I would totally stop using Voxer. I'd force you into using uh, Messenger like a normal person. Um, I'm looking at your stuff. Delta, uh, my Delta app, I use a lot. Yeah, but it, it would be fine. I mean, so many of the apps are just convenience and yes. not necessity. Um, again, it can be replaced. I mean, yeah, more than half of yours. You got Facebook, Instagram. YouTube, all can be replaced with browser. Um, on my phone, on my phone, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna count the one I, I use for work either because if, if I didn't have to have that, like we use a messaging app for work that I have to have, but I'm not gonna count that. Uh, at the moment, so we can change these though, right? We can change these. Yeah, but I, th I think I'm, for I, I'm still keeping. I'm Yelp. keeping uh, Yelp. So what did I say so far? I think I used you said them all. three. You said I Yelp, um, Instagram, and, and I said Waze. But then okay, I'll pull Waze off. So Instagram first and foremost, Yelp, and um, you wouldn't keep Boxer, huh? See Trello. Mm -hmm. Trello gets a lot of action this time of year, but not year round. No, I wouldn't keep Boxer. 
I, I only use Voxer to communicate with you and I would prefer to use something else. But I know that there's no other way to communicate with you. So it's Voxer. This is nothing. tough. Uh, for me, for me, the last one, I, I said Spotify, said Audible. At this, mo at this moment, for me, it's going to be Balloons Tower Defense 6, which is a game I'm playing. I'm playing it every single day. The, the apps that I'm using every single day, I can, without fail, are YouTube, um, their YouTube, uh, Reddit app, and Balloons Tower Defense. YouTube and Reddit I can do on the browser. Um, everything else, n n uh, Netflix and anything else, I can figure out a different way to, to watch that stuff. Um, definitely those. Those are my three. All right, so I'll probably pull ways off then. I, I guess I guess I'm throwing some version of Facebook back in there. Um, and, and I say that because I have both Facebook and I have the Facebook pages because really the Aristocob account is really a page. Mm -hmm. um, even though I have a Facebook account associated with that so I can have that page, I don't really use that account. Right. So, gosh, this is really weird. I, I wouldn't have thought that I, I would care or struggle this much. And you're right. There's some of them that I could use as a web browser, but I don't like the web version of them. Right. Like Yelp, the app works much better than Yelp for mobile. Right. As a, as a website. Right. I mean, for, for me, for YouTube, like I'll watch YouTube if, if I'm traveling or something, but... Uh, 90% of the time I would rather use YouTube on my desktop because of speed controls I have that are just garbage on the mobile version. They're so bad on the mobile. I don't find it to be garbage. Oh, I watch, I watch everything in about two times fast forward and on mobile, it softens the audio. It softens it and it sounds like it's in a bucket. Um, it does not do that on desktop. I don't know why. That's it for me. Those are my three. Okay, so um, before we uh, tell you what we think about the tobacco, I keep wanting to show this to you because I picked this up out in California, and we've talked on a couple of occasions already about chewing corn chips mm -hmm. to help to remove the flavor of the smoke or the, the taste and the smell and everything from our mouths. While I was just out in Los Angeles and San Diego, I went to a restaurant called El Indio, which claims to be the inventor of the taquito. Mm. Now, if you search for taquito on Wikipedia, you find there's actually about four origin stories for the taquito. This is one of them. Um, but I haven't, I didn't, didn't try these, and they didn't come with my meal. And we've already talked about these being a trigger for me, so I'm going to try one. And then I'm going to take the rest of them home to the grandkids, I guess. Okay. And this, this came in my luggage, and about half of them got crushed. Mm. Come on now. You may? Well, maybe. I'll give it to you, but you cut yourself. This is true. They're seasoned. Yeah. Somehow or another. Come on, Chad. That's a big one. Oh, they're thick, too. Good. I talk to you for a good deal. Yeah, well, thank you for that. Who would have thought? I don't know that um, that their claim holds any water because three of the other four origin stories are earlier than theirs. Mm. And, the, and the word taquito means small taco and that was already in the vernacular so hmm. but still they were on di diners drive-ins and dives and guy talked about and, and had the taquitos and they were shredded beef with guacamole on them they were so good Corn chips good. Are good yeah all right so what do, you, what do you think of the tobacco way too far way too much <laughs> um i thought it was nice really enjoyed that it had 
for me, it had that um, that Play-Doh-y start that we get from the um, the Sutliff tobaccos. So I'm curious mm. who makes it, mm -hmm. and what is it that gives us that that initial taste on yeah. on light up? I don't know what it is, but, but it yes. didn't last. No, it did not last. It was good. So thank you very much. Black Cavendish. Um, and again, was was that? Uh, did we determine if that was Andre? I think that was Andre's sample, right? It was. Okay. Yes. Andre, thank you, and, and thank you to the club for supporting this, and uh, we will smoke your dad's tobacco tomorrow, I believe, just to make life easy for us. Yeah. So uh, be sure to join us on day 18. Make it a great day. See ya.